Hello Ice and Fire Nerds, this is Chris and welcome back to another House of the Dragon video where we're talking about the major players in House of the Dragon since HBO has released their first official images. We've already done Corlys Valyrian, the Sea Snake, as well as Rhaenyra Targaryen. Those links will be in the description below. But today let's talk about the other side of the Dance of the Dragons that we will likely see in House of the Dragon. So let's talk about Queen Alicent Hightower that we saw pictured with her father, Sir Otto Hightower, who was handed the king to Viserys I Targaryen. I like to think of Queen Alicent as kind of the Cersei Lannister of the old days in a sense because she wanted her son on the Iron Throne as opposed to the named heir Rhaenyra Targaryen which caused the Dance of the Dragons in the first place. Alicent was born to Otto Hightower in 88 AC and later when her father was named Hand of the King by King Jaehaerys I Targaryen then 13-year-old Alicent accompanied her father to court with her family. Alicent would eventually become the constant companion of King Jaehaerys who at the time was getting old and his health was fading. So essentially she became his personal servant fetching his meals, helping him wash and dress, and reading to him. After Jaehaerys I Targaryen died in his sleep, Alicent would stay in court with her father as he continued his role as Hand of the King under the new king Viserys I. Now very early on in Viserys' reign, there was already some family drama. Sir Otto Hightower, her father, and Prince Daemon Targaryen, the rogue prince, were already at odds with each other, and the court fool Mushroom, who I hope we see in House of the Dragon, we need to see a casting for this. We have to have Mushroom, very, very important role here because he brings up all the juice, all the tea, so to speak. Anyway, Mushroom suggested that the quarrel between the two men began when Damon apparently deflowered Alicent, but of course no one's sure what actually happened, but I tend to trust Mushroom. Later on, Alicent would catch the eye of King Viserys I Targaryen, whose first wife, Queen Aemon Arryn, had died, and whose small council was urging him to wed again. So he ignored all the advice from his council for marrying other people and picked Alicent to be his wife. Now, of course, all the drama began here when he married somebody that he chose as opposed to somebody they chose for him because rumors had already spread about her giving her maidenhead possibly to Daemon Targaryen and that she had slept with Viserys when he was still married to Queen Aemon. And even Mushroom suggested that she was more than a servant to the late Jaehaerys I Targaryen as well. Now, of course, the major plot between the Dance of the Dragons is between her and her son Aegon and, of course, Rhaenyra Targaryen, which we talked about in the other video. This is essentially what starts the Dance of the Dragons, but initially they had a really good relationship. So Princess Rhaenyra, as I mentioned before in the Dance of the Dragons video, was named heir to the Iron Throne, but when Queen Alicent gave birth to a son, Prince Aegon, as well as a daughter, Princess Helena, and another son, Prince Aemond, Rhaenyra still remained Viserys' heir, and of course those feelings started to change. Flashback to Cersei Lannister and Joffrey. And of course, Alicent's biggest supporter was her own father, Sir Otto Hightower, who we'll talk about in another video. He eventually pushed too far on the matter of succession after Alicent had sons, and Rhaenyra was already named the heir being a daughter, and he was stripped of his position as the Hand of the King, and eventually returned to Old Town. Then a little group formed called the Queen's Party, a group of powerful lords who were friends with Queen Alicent, who remained at court, who supported the rights of Alicent's sons, as opposed to the named heir, Rhaenyra Targaryen. In 111 AC, a great tourney was held at King's Landing in honor of the fifth anniversary of their marriage between King Viserys and Queen Alicent. And at the opening feast, Alicent wore a green dress while Princess Rhaenyra dressed in traditional Targaryen red and black, and it became accustomed to refer to the greens and the blacks when talking about the party of the queen and the party of the princess being the party of Rhaenyra. When Rhaenyra Targaryen turned 16, the small council started looking for a suitable husband and Alicent had her own choice, her eldest son, Prince Aegon. Her husband Viserys argued that the siblings had never gotten along, but Alicent of course wanted them to marry anyway. Viserys refused, believing that Alicent only made the suggestion to get her own blood on the Iron Throne, which is of course exactly what she wanted to do. In addition to all this drama to start splitting the family in half, Alicent's second son became involved in an incident where Rhaenyra's son Lucaris, or Luke, took out Aemon's right eye, therefore becoming Aemon one eye. And of course Alicent got pissed off and said that Lucaris would lose an eye as well. So with all the infighting that had already commenced before the Dance of the Dragons, King Viserys declared that Queen Alicent should stay in King's Landing with her children and that Rhaenyra would stay on Dragonstone being the crown princess. Now later that year, Rhaenyra gave birth to her first son by Prince Daemon and Alicent got pissed off because they named the child Aegon, believing it to be a slight against her own firstborn, who had also been named Aegon. And this leads up to the Dance of the Dragons, as we've already mentioned in other videos. King Viserys I would die in his sleep, and the server who warned Queen Alicent about the death was apparently, according to Mushroom, murdered by her, to keep everything on the down low until they could crown her son, Aegon, the king, as opposed to following King Viserys' wishes of crowning Rhaenyra as he had planned to in the first place. So regardless, Alicent warned Sir Criston Cole, now Lord Commander of the Kingsguard, and together they called the small council where plans were made to crown Alicent's son, Prince Aegon, instead of Princess Rhaenyra, who Viserys had made clear on many occasions was his heir to the Iron Throne. At the coronation ceremony held for Aegon, 
and Helena. The coronation was held at the Dragon Pit, and Alicent placed her own crown upon the head of Helena and addressed her as my queen. Now, of course, this led directly to the Dance of the Dragons. I won't get into that here because I've already done an entire video on that, an overview of the entire Dance of the Dragons. You can check that out. That will be in the description below as well. But Queen Alicent did eventually survive the Dance of the Dragons. And eventually, after Rhaenyra's death, her son Aegon III would take the Iron Throne. So essentially, all this shit was for nothing. It just destroyed House Targaryen and got rid of all their dragons except for a few. Aegon II sentenced Rhaenyra to die. She was eaten by a damn dragon. And only a few months after, Aegon himself died as well. So the son of Rhaenyra became king anyway. And during this time, Queen Alicent would remain in King's Landing and eventually go kind of insane where she started talking to herself and ended up being confined to her quarters by Tywin Lannister, the hand of the king to Aegon III and Maegor's Holdfast. So Queen Alicent, who started this whole damn thing, essentially remained in her chambers at the last few years of her life, only seeing her handmaidens, guards, etc. And apparently eventually came to dislike the color green. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. As usual, thank you for all the support, especially you guys on Patreon. And a huge shout out to my executive Patreon smoke screen producers. And if you dig what I do here, please give these videos a like, comment, and a share. And of course, be sure to subscribe to get everything and click that notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.